2,000 miles off the coast of South America, the crew of the research ship Discoverer gets a day off from their environmental work for a mid-ocean swim. These actual home videos record the carefree moments just before the day would become a nightmare to one of the youngest on board, Heather Boswell. I was, you know, kind of homesick, and I called my mom, and she's like, well, they're not letting you swim, are they? And I'm like, well, yeah, we're going to. And she's like, well, what about sharks? I'm like, oh, brother, mom, you know, don't be ridiculous. The shark came around and started chewing on my right leg. And I turned around, and I, I looked, and I just saw this huge dorsal fin. Just kind of, well, really gentle, I assume, for a shark. It was just kind of like chewing on my ankle, and, you know, it just felt like a puppy. It didn't hurt. Then that little rescue boat immediately came around in front of me, and they uh, they they handed me a stick. And then the shark came back and grabbed my other leg. That was the only point I thought I wasn't going to make it. In this incredible rare video, made seconds before the rescue boat reaches her, this 16-foot shark is clearly visible as it bites down on Heather's leg and drags her under. Oh my God! I thought I was down there for, you know, minutes, but it was really only a few seconds. And he's shaking me like, you know, just like a rag doll really hard. And, and I looked up and there's like, you know, this blue water and all these little bubbles in it. And it was just, it was almost calm. It was, it was, I remember thinking how pretty it was. I, I was pretty sure I was gonna die. And I don't know why, but my mind went to my mom saying that, you know, drowning is her biggest fear, you know, it'd be one of the worst ways to go. And so I, I I was like, well, you know, it's that or, you know, let the shark eat me. And so, it, I don't know. I felt like it was like my last moments and I still had a choice as to what I wanted to happen. I'm not sure how far he drug me down. Um, my hands were up in the air. And so I was, you know, at least eight feet down. But then he brought me right back up, right in front of the boat. It's the first key to Heather's survival, sheer luck. Her friends are right there to help. And the people immediately grabbed onto my arms and were trying to pull me out, but the shark clamps down. It was like a, a tug of war between the shark and the people. I don't really remember much about them pulling me out of the water. I, I remember, I just remember that all of a sudden I was, you know, I, I was there and, and they were pulling me in and there was a pop. They pulled me into the boat and I go and I looked down and my leg was gone, so. Despite her brush with death, she believes that luck is on her side. I did a shark dive, you know, a few years ago. I, I kind of figure, what are the chances you're gonna get tagged by a shark twice? You know, it's, it's like getting struck by lightning, and that's even more common. So I figure I'm, I'm pretty safe now. 